Well, the 24th of August uh, this year marks our 15th um, bull sale and uh, we're pretty proud to offer uh, 120 registered Angus bulls, uh, 20 registered Angus heifers and 100 commercial Angus heifers. Within that sale lineup, we'll have 50 18 month old bulls, 42 year old Angus bulls and, and 30 yearling, true yearling bulls. They'll be 12 month old at the time of sale. And, uh, this year we'll kick the sale off with some 18 month old bulls. Pretty exciting group of bulls there. Some some real grunt amongst them. A couple of the highlight bulls that we've got picked out in there as well. Yeah, some PMs are really standing to the top of that group. Lots one, three and four I'm really excited about. I think they've got a lot of potential. And six is a 38 special that uh, we rate pretty highly as well. And 38 specials work real well for us uh, the last three to four years. And females are back in production and, and rebreeding each year. They're an exciting group of bulls, those four there, and they're backed up by a lot of other strong Prime Minister bulls and, and there's some Murder Duke quarterbacks in there that we've introduced in the last couple of years and they're pretty handy carving these um, growth types of bulls so they offer a lot of potential as well. There'll be 42 year old bulls, lot 30 is, a, is probably my pick of the Prime Minister sons in there. We've kept the full brother for stud duties and yeah that ET program with, the, with that cows work very well. Yeah, so the two-year-olds are a uh, really, really good, powerful group of bulls throughout. Right from the start of the two-year-old lots through to the finish, like they've, they've got some power throughout them. A lot of muscle, a lot of rib shape, um, you know, free moving. And they're just good, big frame bulls that are well grown out. I'm um, really happy with how they look at the moment. There's a real good representation of what PM can do in there too. Mm. Um, we're really pleased with how he's going and the females he's leaving behind. And these bulls are a product of what he can produce. So the yearling bulls this year, the true yearlings, the 12 month old bulls, uh, there'll be 30 of those in the sale. And they're uh, probably of most interest to me. They're, they're exciting. They're the newest genetics that we've uh, introduced in the Gilman Dyke herd over the last two years to 12 months. And we're continuing to put a lot of emphasis behind these genetics. So. The Sterling Pacific, so they'll be a main sire group in the in the 12 month olds and, and they'll be the first of our Sterling Pacifics to sell here at Gilman Dyke. A lot 68, he's a he's a pretty special um, Sterling Pacific son that you know we've really liked from the get-go. We love his mum and, and she's been a great cow for us, a great breeder. He'll get a lot of use throughout our commercial herd by AI as well in the upcoming spring joining season. Uh, lot 70, he's a, uh, one of the first Lawson Rocky calves in Australia to sell. Um, so we're proud to be putting those forward. Uh, they look really good and they're strong calves. They line up really well in our draft, so uh, look forward to offering them. They're, they're very exciting. A lot of really good heifer bulls in that group. Short gestation, low birth weight. We'll cover heifers this year and go on to do cows next year. Yeah, so we've, we've increased our bull uh, numbers in this year's sale by about 40 bulls. Uh, it's on the back of a lot of hard work that we've been putting in behind the scenes. We've been really strong into our uh, embryo transfer work and, and increased our number of registered animals that way over the last three to four years. And we've also changed some joining dates around, so we're running a bigger portion of autumn calving cows now. So uh, as those cows came back into the system, it allows us to uh, increase our numbers. There'll be 20 uh, registered stud females and they'll be 12 months of age. Obviously, they'll sell open. They're an exciting group of uh, young females and it's the first time we've done it. And I guess the reason for putting these forward is just is on the back, we touched on it earlier, but on the back of our large ET programs that we've been running. These heifers have siblings in the herd. Their mums are renowned donor cows for us and, and we love having them around. And I mean, a lot of these females go right back into our foundation cows in the Gilman Dyke herd. And pretty proud to offer a selection of Gilman Dyke genetics. As always, we'll have a run at PTIC, a commercial females this year. It's something that we've always tried to put forward a, a great line of females that people can have access to the Gilman Dyke program through. This year, the joining so I was the top price saleable from last year. So look, they're, they're pre-testing in calf, ready to calve after the sale. Really, really well-grown bunch this year. They've done it easy over the, what was a very wet summer and they've come out really nice on this end. And so they'll be sold in lots of 10 this year, drafted into their calving groups. So they'll carve in a nice tight pattern for whoever purchases. They're at the forefront of what the results of the, the program here at Gilman Dyke is. This year we're expecting 17, 1800 AI calves will all be sire identified and so that data that we can follow through for many years is really important. Spreading that across our commercial herd of 2500 cows 
gives us the ability to, to get raw data in as quick as possible and filter that back through to the stud and onto commercial clients. So 27th of July, in conjunction with Beef Week, we'll have open day where all animals will be lotted up and um, available to hair. And then sale day uh, will be the 24th of August this year, 1 p.m. start. Uh, all the animals will be in and penned up by nine o'clock that morning. We'll run that in conjunction with uh, Auctions Plus for anyone that can't make it on the day. I didn't need to, you need to start doing some things. I feel like I've done a little. <laughs> He's going to change his hat. He's embarrassed. <laughs> you said that heaps better. Good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. We don't often. Oh, I'll stop laughing. Yeah, rosemary and parsley are the only two we use. Oh, I don't even have got any parsley. We don't have any basil growing. <laughs>